When Garrett and I were done with our chores, Andrea told us that we were going over to our teen club. You know what? When we get to this building, it has to be cleaned nice and perfectly for the event tomorrow. I can't clean perfect. Oh, wow. And here it is. This is Spotlight. It was this 6,000 square foot teen club with trash everywhere. I'm going to have you sweep the floors. I'm going to have you to do the men's bathroom. That's gross. I think Andrea gave me the gross tour just because she busted me for smoking. We're just going to take some gloves and just take it and just get all that out and just throw it in the trash can and we'll just clean it. Like, I almost threw up right then and there. Just pick it up from there and then we mop after that. I could tell right off the bat that they didn't really have a clue on how you know, about cleaning up and any type of responsibilities like that. I could just tell it was going to be a long afternoon. I need to run to the bank. So I made you a list. Lysol and spray down all the tabletops, vacuum the stage. The windows. The windows inside and out as far as if you can go. Empty all the trash bags and we'll be back probably in like an hour, okay? So I expect for you guys to be working and not playing around. No pool table, no video games, none of that. We need to clean up. Okay. When I left them with specific orders to do the things that they should do, this is something that I knew would take them at least five hours. They're gonna be gone for like an hour, probably like, an, I think it's gonna be longer than an hour. So let's like get this done really, really fast so you can play pool. That's what I was thinking. Man, I suck at cleaning windows. Who puts gum on a window? I'm about to do this the lazy way. See, they didn't do the outside windows. Right, I still see handprints all out here. Hey, what's up? She can't figure out how to make the vacuum work, but other than that, it's all good. We've only been gone like an hour. Usually, we're here cleaning this building like four or five hours. You do outside, you see the outside still. I see oh. fingerprints all outside. Are there fingerprints on the outside? This looks, there's like, it's all smeared over here. What did you use? She used a sponge and I used paper towels. The what? Sponge? She's using a sponge. That's just like, Tia knows better than that, and she's only six. Look at the table. You were supposed to wipe the tables. There's, what is this? If they don't like what, how we're doing things, then they can do it themselves. This is what we do to run our business. But now, it's like we're starting back over from square root one. So you said you didn't know how the vacuum works? OK, get to it. Sweep the floor, mop the bathroom floor. I'm not, I did it. Okay, you, I you cursing, you cursing. Don't well, curse I'm me. angry, I don't, mopped, and don't you don't believe at me. me. When she came in and started freaking out on me, I was pissed. What do you have there to clean the window? Windex and a paper towel to clean the window. No, that's not, that's, that's, that's not blue. Blue, Windex. Thank you. Take the outside. This isn't done right, this isn't done good enough. You. And when I tell you to do something, you need to do it and do a good job and do your best and don't slack off on it. They're just gonna be here until it's done. I have no problem with it. I'll stay here, there's nothing we can do. I have an event tomorrow, there's no way that my facility is gonna look like this, so. 